So in this video, we're going to look at three reasons that you might be struggling to screw back. So often we find ourselves in positions like this in frames. So I've finished straight on the black here and I want to play a nice screw shot and bring the white off this cushion here and then up for these two reds. But lots of times we find in frames that when we get down to play these shots, this happens. So we feel like we've hit through the ball hard but the white didn't really come back very much. We didn't manage to get the white off this side cushion and then up for the two reds. So in this video, we're gonna look at three reasons that you might be struggling to screw back. So the first reason that can cause players to not generate the backspin that they would like on the cue ball is that they don't actually hit low enough. So the first part of this is that players are a little bit worried that if they hit very, very low on the cue ball, if they aim really low, that the cue tip will actually go underneath the cue ball and they'll hit the cloth and they'll scoop the cue ball, causing it to jump up off the bed of the table. So there's a little bit of anxiety attached to actually committing to hitting that low and delivering at that point. Now, the second part of not hitting low enough is that sometimes, and this is very common with players, what they will do is they will aim up nice and low, so they're aiming up, they're doing their feathers, they're aiming up nice and low on the cue ball, but then when they actually do their final delivery and strike the cue ball, they don't actually hit that point on the cue ball. The cue tip has come up very slightly and it's hit a much higher point on the cue ball, causing the white ball to just get a stun effect and not actually generate the backspin that we want. So let's have a look at me with that mistake then in my action. So, I'm trying to pop this black and screw back for these two reds. So I'm aiming up nice and low on the cue ball. That's gonna generate a screw shot. But when I finally deliver, I've actually come up on the cue ball there and I've hit too high and it's caused my white ball to travel forward. So if we were to have a look at that shot that I just played in slow motion there. So you can see that I'm actually aiming up nice and low on the cue ball there. If I was to hit that point on the cue ball when I deliver, then I'll definitely generate the backspin I want and bring the cue ball backwards. But what's gonna happen is, you can see that I'm aiming up nice and low, and then when I do my backswing, you can see that the delivery is now starting, the cue is coming up slightly, and I'm actually hitting much higher there, you can see on the cue ball, than where I was aiming. So that's why I haven't actually generated that backspin that I wanted and got the cue ball spinning backwards, which causes the screw effect that we want. So those are two common things that you will see on these screw shots. Players, a little bit of anxiety involved, not quite sure that if they hit that low, they're a bit uncomfortable, they think that they possibly are gonna jump the cue ball, so they don't commit, in, commit to hitting as low as they could do. And then the second thing is actually aiming low, but if you were to really study your cue action, you're not quite striking exactly where you wanted to on the cue ball. The cue tip has risen up slightly and hit much higher. Now, the second common problem that we're going to see with players on these shots is that they're not pushing the cue all the way through the cue ball. So, just like I've talked about in previous videos, this cue ball, we don't want to hit at the cue ball. The cue ball is not your finishing point. We need to push the cue right the way through. So, if we aim up at the bottom of this cue ball here, and then we accelerate the cue and push through and right through the bottom of the white there, we'll generate much more backspin on the white. Now, I think at first when players are learning to play these shots, it feels a bit unnatural to push right through the cue ball. It's very common to think that in order to get this white ball to come backwards, that you need to quickly push the hand forward and then pull backwards again so that we grab the cue ball and pull it backwards. But we don't want that in our action. We want the hand to just go through to the chest like it should on any other shot, and that's gonna mean pushing through the bottom of the cue ball and generating all that backspin. So let's have a look at me playing a couple of shots here. So, I'm going to aim up here, and then this time I'm not going to push through very far, I'm going to... So that time it was a little bit of a stab, I didn't push the cue through very smoothly at all. And that's why I didn't generate as much backspin as I would like. This time, I'm going to play the same shot again. But this time I'm going to push right through the cue, but it's not about power, it's just about pushing right the way through. And that time, I pushed right the way through the cue ball, the, I played the shot at a very, very similar pace to the last one, but that time the cue ball generated much more backspin and I've bounced nicely off the cushion and back onto these reds perfectly. And now finally, the third common mistake that we see on these shots is that players are hitting the ball far too hard. 
So players tend to think that in order to get this cue ball spinning backwards and generate all that spin, we need to use lots of power, lots of strength and hit the white ball very hard. And that is not the case with these shots. We need to do the things that we've talked about in this video, so hitting nice and low on the white and pushing through the white ball nice and smoothly, and that's what generates all that spin on the white ball. Now, the problem with using too much power is that means that we're going to lose our accuracy. So just like we talked about in the first part of this video, if I'm aiming up nice and low on the white, but then I try and deliver my cue very, very quickly with lots of power, it's much more difficult for me to remain accurate and to hit perfectly at the bottom of that white ball where I was aiming. So that's why we try and go a bit softer, a bit smoother whenever, whenever we can. So just to highlight this point, let's say that I've got this same shot again. I want to pop this black and bring myself onto these two reds here. If I was to play this shot with maximum power, so if I hit this quite hard with screw, so we can see there that I don't need anything like that amount of power. I've actually screwed off this cushion and gone right over to the other side of the table. So there's no need for me to generate that amount of spin. So we can play lots of screw shots all around the table without ever having to use that much power. So if I was to play one more of these, I can hit now a lot softer, nice and smoothly. And that time I went a lot softer and I easily got the screw on the ball that time again and I'm nicely on these two reds here. So it's a bit of a misconception that we need to go lots of power, lots of cue speed to get the white ball spinning. We don't need that at all. So as always, thanks a lot for watching the video. For anyone that's interested in any personal one-to-one -one coaching sessions, I do these sessions all the time working with players one-to-one -one on the table. So if you want any details about that, visit my website www.bartonsnooker.co.uk. As always, if you did enjoy this video, then please remember to give the video a like. If you want to see more instructional tutorials just like this one, then please subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Cheers.